Our story begins at an August fundraiser for the Steel Canyon football team. One of the silent auction items was called Draw the Play. So my mom bid on it and uh, ended up winning it. So I think it was her scheme to actually have, have Paul uh, you know, be the one to make that play call, and she's the one that contacted him. Coach Bemke's mother did not have to offer twice. Why the 46 crossfire? Well, for that, we go back in time. The year is 1950, and the Kenosha Red Devils are beginning a two-year reign that would earn them the title, the greatest prep football team in Wisconsin state history. In the backfield, future NFL Hall of Famer Anamichi and a dipsy-doo ghost of a back named Rudy, Ron Rudy. Two weeks after that coaching session, the Cougars welcomed Santana to Steel Canyon. Coach Bemke's offensive coordinator, Haran Hutchinson, sending in the play. It wasn't like a Steel Canyon play, it was just a, a random fancy play, so, you know, that was pretty awesome. I definitely plan on telling my kids about my high school football career, and if I ever have a highlight of that game, I'm definitely going to tell them on how that touchdown took place. From 1950 to 2009, the 46 crossfire lives on. A nearly 60-year-old misdirection play handed down from a father to a son from the Red Devils to the Cougars. The kids saw, you know, Paul when he came out and coached up the play. They saw how much it would mean to him if, uh, if you know, we could bring this play back to life. So, yeah, I'd say the spirit of, of uh, Ron Rudy was there. Yeah.